Hey YouTube, Tech Intimidation. Today we're talking about Google Chrome and incognito mode, or how to browse privately and stealthily with no one finding out what you were looking at using Google Chrome. So Chrome, the way Chrome does this, they call it incognito mode. It's a uh, mode that you activate by hitting shift, uh, control shift in or shift command in on a Mac or you can go up to the top and hit File, New Incognito Window. And everything's the same uh, in appearance, except it's blue at the top on a Mac. It may be the same on Windows, I'm not sure. And on the top right, there'll be this little shady looking guy up here with his hat and glasses uh, in the corner. That lets you know that you're in incognito mode. And what happens in incognito mode uh, stays in incognito mode. Uh, web pages and stuff that you download in that window uh, are deleted as soon as you close that window. Uh, your browsing history and anything you do in there, uh, like cookies if you log in or uh, if you're shopping for stuff, you know, sometimes when you see ads for that same stuff later, that's because there's a cookie on there that um, lets advertisers know that you've been looking for that. Um, so none of that information is saved. As soon as you close that incognito window, all that stuff is deleted. One thing that is saved is if you bookmark a, a page, uh, let's say you find a, something that you actually do like uh, and you want to bookmark it, those bookmarks that you create will still be there uh, after you close the window. So one way that I use incognito mode uh, and, I mean, there's lots of ways or reasons to use incognito mode, which everybody knows and we don't really have to talk about. But one uh, reason that I use incognito mode is when I am working in a database or a website where I have multiple accounts and I need to be in those multiple accounts at the same time, but I don't want to use a different browser. Like if I want to use Chrome and I don't want to use Internet Explorer. So if what I would do is... In Chrome, I would log in with my first account, and then I would create or go into incognito mode by hitting Shift Command N on a Mac, and then log in to that same website uh, with my other account. And this will work because the information is not shared across these two different uh, windows here because incognito mode is basically. Uh, its own entity over here and what can happen is if you don't use incognito mode when you try and browse like if you're trying to be in two different gmail accounts at the same time uh, it may interfere with the other one it has in the past they may have fixed this by now but if you would be in two different tabs with two different gmail accounts they might interfere and log each other out but if you go into incognito mode that's not going to happen um, another reason to use incognito mode, let's say you're uh, about to propose to your girlfriend and you need to shop for rings or you need to look online for uh, ideas for ways to propose or it's just a birthday coming up and you want to shop for somebody but you don't want any, any of that browsing history to be on there. Um, so let's say, because what can happen when you shop for stuff especially, uh, that history of you looking at, uh, let's say, cameras can show up later on other websites with ad ads for that camera and that may give away what you're doing so if you browse in incognito mode all that information is deleted when you close the window so that's it that's the ways to use incognito mode if uh, you have any comments or ways that you use it that I haven't mentioned here um, just leave them in the comments or if you have any questions, leave them in comments, and I will get to them later and possibly make a video about uh, how to answer that question. And that's it. Also, click subscribe for more information about how to make tech work for you from Tech Intimidation. Thanks.